Hello and welcome to the video. This is a quick look at two new things from Radio Master. The first one is this thing here. This is the T8 Lite. It's the latest version of their T8 radio. I've looked at a couple of other versions on the channel already. I'll put links down below. But this T8 Lite is very inexpensive. And it's a radio that not only will connect to something using the D8 or D16 AWCST version 1 uh, protocols. Uh, it'll also connect to your computer via a USB cable, so it's absolutely fantastic if you want to have something for simulators over the winter months. The other thing that's interesting is this thing here. This is the WT01. This is the wireless trainer dongle from Radio Master, and this can be plugged into any radio with either a three and a half millimeter jack, or it has adapters for things like Vitaba radios as well. And you can connect to this using uh, quite a few different protocols, and it makes a really easy wireless trainer setup between your radio and the other person's radio. In fact, these two things work really nicely together and provide a very inexpensive way. For you to give lessons or a try of one of your models uh, while still maintaining control but having no wireless physical connection between the two radios. Now I have done a number of videos already, I'll put links down below on how you set up the trainer functions in things like OpenTX but I thought while I have these two things in let's show you uh, both the at T8 Lite but also the WT01 and how they work together and a quick overview of how you set them up in something like OpenTX to make these into a really cheap and cheerful trainer setup for your existing radio. So it's pretty clear with the original T8 and T8 Pro from Radio Master that the idea was this was going to be a really cheap and cheerful radio. Now talking to Radio Master it appears that the big problem was the original CPU in the T8 when it was being designed was about two dollars a shot whereas with the chip shortages it has increased to about 25 up to 28 dollars a shot and that's one of the reasons it's been so expensive. So this T8 Lite is very similar to the others in that it's two two position switches, uh, two three position switches, we have a bind button on the back but there is no bay. Uh, this isn't OpenTX, it's got no screen, it's really really basic but it will work with a USB cable to your computer for things like simulators and it also has two bind modes. Uh, D8 and D16. Uh, D D16 is AWCST version 1. Inside is an inbuilt 1000 milliamp hour battery. The power level lights at the front show the power level I need to charge mine. It's an AETR default channel order. Uh, D8 and D16 by modes as I mentioned. And you may have noted it does say V2 on the package. V1 was the one that was included in the RTF models. There are some minor changes inside to this one, uh, but that nothing is changed in terms of how it works. Because what's actually in here is a single chip RF module. It's the CC2500, which does give us those couple of protocols. Eight channels and nice and lightweight at about 218 grams. So the Radio Master WT01 is a wireless trainer and this will talk D8, D16, again I think it's AWCST version 1 and also S FHSS radios as well. So it goes into the trainer port at the top and it just looks to the radio like a cable is installed so it's really easy to use. Now this again has a little inbuilt battery and that little 250 milliamp hour battery that you can kind of see through the case uh, will last you for a couple of hours. USB-C charging and there are four servo outputs on this as well. And it's really nice to see that in the bag you do get the adapters for Fatapa style connections too which make it really handy so irrespective of what kind of radio you've got you can kind of make this work. Now the cool thing is with the PWM outputs with the fact that this thing is powered is you can plug in servos into those outputs and control them directly once you have this thing bound to a radio. Now this is more of a servo checker it isn't to be used as a receiver but 
it's a really interesting idea. This kind of idea, if it was made into a receiver, would be great for things like gliders. So to show you how these things work together, uh, they don't have to work together. You can use the dongle with anything. But uh, let me show you how I struggled initially to get these bound. Now there is this little button on the back which puts the radio into bind mode. If you press and hold the button on the wireless dongle, then once it's flashing like this, it's ready to bind. While the radio was on, if you press and hold the bind button for a second, then you will hear it beep. That single beep means it's in D8 bind mode. If you press that button again, it will then go into D16 bind mode. Now, I struggled with this, and initially doing it this way round, where the dongle was on first, and then the radio went into bind, it seems to work better when the radio is already in bind mode, and then you power up the wireless dongle. It seems to connect pretty much straight away. Once it's connected, then you see the lights all flash really quickly and you then power cycle everything and then all of the lights come on. Again, the lights on the wireless dongle are kind of showing you how much battery is left. So when all four are lit like this, it's fully charged. Once it's bound, then all you need to do is just pop it into the trainer port on whichever radio is going to be used for the instructor or be the master radio and that's as difficult as it gets. So with the radio powered and connected to the dongle, that means that now I have the ability to pass control onto this smaller little radio. And I think this is where these two things together work really nicely. It means that if you maybe have a mate or someone in the family or one of your children who wants to have a go at flying one of your planes uh, or quads even, you just buy these two things and give them the option. And with the flick of a switch, kind of pass them control, and then when the switch is in the other position, you can take it back before the thing crashes. I really like this as a way to give people the experience of flying. Or if they are new to an aspect like FPV, it's a really cute way to try it out. Now again, you don't have to use the T8 light or the other bits with it. Um, there are loads of different ways, as I said, to actually set up the trainer function in OpenTX. But let me very, very quickly show you the simple way that I've done it here to use the four main flight controls over the wireless dongle. What you need to do is to go into the model menu and tab across until you get to the special functions and then set up something called trainer uh, and then make sure it's enabled and set that for a specific switch on the radio. Now the cool thing is, is you don't just have to do the sticks, you can also individually pick them or change the different channels. Again, links down below on how you set this up, but if you just do this with trainer sticks on a switch, it means that you can pass control over to the other radio without any problems at all. So this is a really cute way to add a wireless trainer function to an existing radio that might not have that function installed. And it doesn't matter what your radio is, if it has a trainer port that has a 3.5mm jack or the Fataba style connector, then this will just plug in and work great. The fact it also talks D8, D16 and the Fataba protocol as well means that if you already have one of those radios, you can use that as a trainer radio but the T8 Lite is really inexpensive and actually for a trainer radio to give somebody the chance of having a go of flying a model, it's a really cute, easy, cheap way to use with a dongle, although you don't have to, of course, the dongle will talk to pretty much any radio. The other nice thing about the T8 Lite is that it's a great little radio if you wanted to have it just connected to your PC via a USB-C cable. That would also allow you to have a cheap and cheerful controller for the winter months if you wanted to keep practicing on the simulator so that you don't lose the skills you've built up over summer. Again, links down below to quite cute things from Radio Master. They really are becoming the new free sky with the cute technology coming out with stuff that pilots have been asking for and are going to use.
Thank you for spending your time today watching that video. You can find me in all the usual places on social media. And if you're trying to learn about a subject, then check out the playlist. All of my videos are organized into easy to follow playlists that if you're trying to learn a topic, will take you from the basics right the way through to some pretty advanced stuff.